now we are going to discuss about single machine scheduling uh, take for example a company is having only one machine and there are a lot of customers the each customer has got a different job requirements and each job uh, requires a different time of processing in that particular single machine so uh, when there are at a time when there are four or five customers how the company is going to schedule the customers jobs into this single machine is our problem and scheduling these jobs so that all the customers are satisfied or uh, a best way of scheduling is our um, requirement and there are some rules for this single machine scheduling uh, seven rules first come first serve is the first rule shortest processing time rule longest processing time rule earliest due date rule preferred customer order rule covert cost over time rule uh, covert is equal to cost of delay divided, divided by processing time and finally random selection rule so uh, we will discuss each one of uh, these rules in detail first come first service which customer comes first to the company to process their job gets the first preference and the last customer will get the last preference that is first come first serve and the second rule shortest processing time rule when there are four or five customers and uh, the company will check what is the processing time of each job the customer is giving when the job has got different time of completion or processing time the company will select the job with the minimum processing time uh, job first or the job which has got minimum processing time will be processed first in the single machine which the company is having and the last to be processed is the job which requires lot of time to be processed and the third rule is longest processing time rule here it is exact exact opposite of short, shortest processing time rule whereas when there are four or five customers and among the four or five customers the jobs require different processing time and the company will select the job with the maximum processing time and it schedules that particular job as the first to be processed and the shortest processing time job is the last to be processed and uh, the fourth rule is earliest due date rule here when there are more number of customers and the customers will set a time for delivery of their job and the, uh, the customer whose due date falls immediately or the first is going to be the that particular job is going to be processed first and and uh, a little later if it is another customer then the uh, that particular customer's job is will be uh, processed so this is earliest due date rule <coughs> and the fifth rule is preferred customer order rule here there will be some customers who give orders um, to the company then and there so uh, that particular customer is a loyal customer so the company will try to satisfy that loyal customer so that he comes again and again so in that case his job will be processed first and it is not just loyalty there will be some other uh, uh, criteria for by which uh, this company will select which customers order will be processed first and the next is covert rule where cost of uh, delay and the processing time is taken into account and uh, if the cost of delay uh, is more then that job will be taken as the first to be processed because it will have lot of uh, cost involved for this company uh, to delay the particular project and last is finally <coughs> random selection where randomly any customers job order will be taken up for processing so these are the different rules uh, for single machine scheduling and now we'll discuss a particular problem by which we 
try to follow some rules and find out which rule is best suited for the particular company. So here the problem says jobs are waiting at a company. Their processing time and due dates are given below. There are five jobs A, B, C, D, E or in other words five customers and each job's processing time is given A takes six days, B takes two days, C takes eight days, D takes three days and E takes nine days to be processed. And the due date for each job uh, is also given. A job A customer he has given a due date of 8 days from the uh, day of giving order or from today 8 days. B has given 6 days from today 6 days. C has given 18 days, D 15 days and E 23 days. So this is the data which is given in the problem. Now the question asked is determine the best rule the company should follow among first come first serve earliest due date and shortest processing time rule. Now the same table we are going to add two columns one next to the processing time and the other one next to due date. We are going to name that column as flow time and late days. Flow time is just the cumulative sum of the processing times. So first come first serve is the flow time for first come first serve is um, 6 as taken as it is and up it is 6 plus 2 8 and for the next job and for the next job so 6 plus 2 and for the next job 16 plus 3 is equal to 19 and for the next job 19 plus 9 is equal to 28 so it is just the cumulative sum of the processing time of different uh, uh, jobs. And uh, late days, late days, how we are going to calculate late days. Before that, uh, I forgot to tell you one thing. For when it is first come first serve, the uh, problem in the problem, the data given is A, B, C, D, E is the sequence. So, a is the first job customer who has given job order, B next customer, C next uh, customer, D next customer and E next customer. So first come first service we are going to serve first A customer, B customer, C, D and E. This is the sequence of uh, processing and the uh, processing time is taken as it is and the cumulative processing time is taken as the flow time. Now we are going to discuss the how to calculate late days. So here A is processed for 6 days and it is ready by 6 days, 6th day and uh, but the due date is 8 days. So uh, what is the late days? Late days there is no late day because the process, the job is over by 6 days and due date is only after eight. Uh, late days there is no late days and for B the job is getting over by 8 days but the due date is 6 days. So how much is the uh, late days? 8 minus 6 is the late days for B. And here C, uh, 16 is the date of completion of the job and 18th is the due date. So 16 minus 18 it is uh, negative so that is 0 and similarly 19th uh, D is getting over but the due date is 15 so 19 minus 15 is 4 days late and E 28 the process gets over but the due date is 23 so late days is 5. Uh, total of processing time, flow times and late days. So processing time total is 28, flow time total is 27 uh, sorry 77 and late days total is 11. Similarly for earliest due date, for earliest due date, we are going to rearrange the job sequence based on the due date of the um, the earliest due date of the customers. So B is the uh, customer whose due date is the first one, or 
in six days b uh, job has to be delivered and a need will be delivered by eight days d next 15 days c 18 days and e 23 days so uh, the processing time is also uh, rearranged as per uh, this particular job so the corresponding processing time for b is taken up here a is taken up here d is taken up here c 8 and e 9 now same way we are going to calculate the so flow time is for b i mean the first job it is 2 and the second job is it is 2 plus 6 8 and the third job 8 plus 3 11 and the fourth job 11 plus 8 19 and the fifth job 19 plus 9 28 and late days uh, the b job is ready by two days but the due date is six days so there will not be any late days and for a the due date is eight sorry the processing time gets over by eight days and the due date is eight days so there will not be any delay and the d 11 days the process gets over the due date is 15 so zero uh, C, 19 is the pro uh, processing time getting over day and the due date is 18. So, 19 minus 18 is 1 and for E, 28 is the day of completion of that particular job whereas the due date is 23. So, 28 minus 23 is 5. So, we are going to take a total of the processing time, float time and late days. It comes to around 28, 68 and 6. We're going to do it for Similarly, we are going to do it for shortest processing time. Shortest processing time, it is based on the processing time. B is the job which has got less, uh, lowest processing time. So, that is taken as the first to be processed. And D is the next uh, lowest. So, next uh, D is taken up. And next is A, 6, C, 8 and E, 9. And due date is rearranged as per D, D, A, C, E. And now we are going to calculate the flow time as before. So the first job 2 and second job 2 plus 3, 5 and the third job three, 5 plus 6, 11, fourth job 11 plus 8, 19 and fifth job 19 plus 9, 28. And due date, I mean late days, B is getting over by second day but the due date is 6 days. So, late days is 0. D is getting over by 5 days. Due date is 15. So, late days is 0. A is getting over by 11 days. But due date is 8 days. So, 11 minus uh, 3, 8 is 3. And C is getting over by 19 days. But the due date is 18. So, 19 minus 18 is 1. And E, 28 minus uh, 23, 5. So, we are going to take up the total. So, total is 28.65. Now, we have uh, the formula average flow time, uh, average number of jobs and average job lateness. So, with this uh, formula, we are going to ascertain which of the rules is going to be the best one. So, for which rule all these uh, average flow time, average number of jobs and average job lateness is less that is the best uh, uh, sequence for the company to follow and average flow time formula is total flow time divided by number of jobs average number of jobs in the system is equal to total flow time divided by total processing time and average job lateness is equal to total late days divided by total number of jobs so this these are the formulae which we are going to apply and find out which rule among first come first serve, earliest due date and shortest processing time is the. So on top of this particular slide, I have taken the total of uh, first come first serve uh, processing times, flow times and late days and earliest due date, processing time, flow time and late days, shortest processing time rule, processing time, flow time and late days. The total is here and I have applied the formula. So, for uh, the first come first served, average flow time is equal to total flow time. Total flow time is 77 divided by number of jobs. Number of jobs A, B, C, D, E. So, 5 jobs. So, 77 divided by 5 is equal to 15.4.
similarly for uh, first come first serve uh, calculated average number of jobs which is total flow time divided by total processing time so total flow time is 77 and total processing time is 28 so 77 divided by 28 is 2.75 average job lateness is equal to total late days divided by number of jobs total late days is 11 and number of jobs is 5 so 11 by 5 equal to equal to 2.2 similarly for earliest due date also we are going to calculate average flow time average number of jobs and average job lateness so from this particular table we can uh, check that the first come first serve rule is uh, not the best one because all the values average flow time average job lateness and average number of jobs are more than the other two so we are going to rule out this particular rule and among these two earliest due date and shortest processing time rule we are go going to have uh, average flow time is uh, lesser for shortest processing time and uh, average number of jobs is lesser for shortest processing time and the only th uh, thing which is more is uh, average job lateness so if uh, in this particular case uh, shortest processing time rule is the best one as the uh, uh, two among the three uh, formula we get the lowest value so we are going to set, take the company is going to take up shortest processing time rule for the particular job processes so that the customer is uh, uh, customers orders are fulfilled and they are satisfied